everyone. So we are officially in topic number two. This topic, we learn all about addition and subtraction of multi-digit numbers. And I know you guys have some familiarity with that um, from third grade. Fourth grade gets into bigger numbers, um, and we also get into subtracting across zeros and estimating um, before adding or subtracting large numbers. However, I do expect us to move very quickly through this unit. In fact, we are testing on it um, in exactly two weeks. So hopefully everybody has picked up their home learning resources folder from Indian Hill School. If you haven't picked up your folder yet or have gotten it, handed it to you um, from me, and then please try to do it today if possible. Um, your folder is still waiting for you at the school. Um, if anybody is, is not going to be able to pick it up today, let me know and I'll try to make arrangements with your parents to get it to you. Uh, so I wanna go over exactly what's in the folder with you today. It's going to be very important that you don't take anything out of the folder or do anything until you know what it's supposed to be used for. So I'm going to open up this folder and this is what you should see when you open your folder for the first time. I'm gonna talk about the items that are located on the right side first. So the first packet is yellow and you'll see it kind of looks similar to our place value extra practice packet. This packet, however, is a packet that you must complete. It is not for extra credit. It's something, it's going to be actually like a graded classwork assignment. So I want to write down on the top right now, if you could write your name, I'm going to write Mrs. A because this one is mine. But if you could write your name on yours right now, so go find that folder. It should be traveling with you. If you come into school, you should have it. If you're at home, you should have it. We're going to be going in this folder every single day to get things. Um, so make sure that it's readily available. And then this packet is going to be due on test day. So I'm going to write, don't lose. We don't want to lose this packet. Um, don't let anybody throw it out at home. Don't let your mom go through your folder or your dad or grandma um, because we want to definitely keep this. And then I'm also going to write, you should be doing this on your packet, due on Friday. And let's see, I think Friday's date is the 23rd. So it's two weeks about and that's when our test is for topic two so this is always going to be due on test day all right now the cool thing about this packet if you open it up oops, sorry you're going to see a little note that i wrote to you and i said that this packet is intended to complement our work in topic two you will have the entire duration of our time on this topic to complete the packet you may work on it at school or at home the answers to the pages are provided on the last page of this packet. So if you look on the very last page, look at that. I've given you all of the answers. Okay, so I need a promise from you right now, right? Um, that if you, you know, everybody has to do the packet, but I want you to promise that you're going to do the work first and then check your answers. You don't want to copy the answers because number one, that's cheating. And number two, you're not going to be learning anything, right? So it's really important to show your work. I want to see the regrouping. And then I want you to promise me and sign here. Now, if you know how to write in cursive, you can sign your name in cursive. If you don't know how to write in cursive, just print or do your best. All right. So this packet is going to be due at the end of our topic, right? It's going to be on the 23rd. If you need help with any of these questions, just ask. If you notice that you have difficulty with a specific type of problem, there will be small intervention group meetings um, that you're going to get invited to, um, but you don't need an invitation to join. So make sure that you're letting me know if I don't specifically invite you into a group. Let me know that you're struggling with something and I'm more than happy. But most of the time I pick up on it just from how you're doing on the day-to-day -day assignments. Um, much of this topic should look familiar as it builds upon skills taught in third grade. Have fun. All right, so you're gonna see that 
Most of these problems are just simple addition or subtraction problems. Always make sure you're reading um, the directions. Some require coloring, uh, just a little bit of coloring here or there. And with honestly, guys, if you just, you know, instead of coloring the whole thing red or green or whatever they want, I don't care if you just do a little red scribble, right? Don't, I don't care so much about the coloring. I really care about the math. So this packet is not very long, in fact. Um, so I think that everyone of you should be able to get it done in the time frame that we have, the two weeks. You can work on this whenever I tell you to. Like if I say, okay, everybody, do a page in your yellow packet. Um, but you can also work on it whenever you have downtime. So if you're waiting for a Zoom to begin, or you're, you know, listening to me, but you are, you're, you're, you know, a little bit ahead of us, and you just want to pull something out to work on it, um, those are all great ideas. You should never have just idle moments where you're just sitting there, like waiting. Um, always take something out. All right. So this is that packet. Behind that yellow packet, you are going to find a white packet. So let's pull that one out. Now this white packet on the top, it says math vocabulary quiz study guide. So just like last topic, we are going to have a study guide. Um, or I'm sorry, we're gonna have a vocabulary quiz. And your vocabulary quiz, I wrote it down here, even though it's really hard to read. But our quiz is on Thursday, October 22nd. So it's the day, actually though, did I change that? Um, no, it is on Thursday the 22nd. I'm second guessing myself. So it's the day before our test. You will have a vocabulary quiz. And just like last topic and every topic from here on out, we're going to be taking a look at those purple word cards. Um, they're in your workbook. And today, actually, we're going to be cutting them out and making a nice little pocket for them inside of our notebook. Uh, but I also wanted to give, I gave you an extra copy of those word cards just in case you lose them or whatever you want to do. There's also some helpful information on the back of your study guide first page. And then there's even a practice vocabulary quiz. Um, and this is really gonna mimic the real vocabulary quiz, but the real one is gonna be digital. Uh, same questions though, just a little hint for you. All right, so anything vocabulary, you can kind of find it in this packet. All right, we're gonna set that packet aside. There's two more things that you're going to notice um, on the right side of your folder. One is pink, it's a performance task, and you're gonna be completing that in an assignment next week. So we don't need to talk about that. And then the second, uh, or the last thing in your packet, in your folder, is a project that you are going to love. It is so much fun. Every year I do this project with my students and they say it's one of the highlights of fourth grade. It's called the Million Dollar Project. And I'm gonna make a whole separate video all about this project. Don't lose this green packet, okay? In fact, if you wanna write that on your packet right now, you can, if you wanna write your name on it somewhere, I'll write it down here because we definitely do not wanna lose this packet. This is an extra credit project. And if you complete it, um, you're going to need to turn in this packet along with a slideshow. All right, so to find out more about that, you can watch the video. All right, so we're gonna take a look now at the left side of our packet. I'm gonna pull everything out. So the first two pages are really nicely colored already for you. We're gonna be gluing these into our math notebooks today. So we're gonna set those aside. The next packet you will see, it's a purple one. And this purple packet is everything that we're gonna be gluing into our math notebook throughout this topic. Please do not go ahead and just start gluing, cutting and gluing things in. I promise I will be very detailed. I'm gonna tell you exactly when to cut and we're gonna do it together. Um, I've even made a model notebook so that you can see exactly what your pages should look like. So all of these eventually are going to be put into our notebook, our student notebook. The white packet, on the other hand, this is really more just like extra stuff for you. The white packet, you do not have to turn it in at all. So you might want to take a marker or something 
at the top and just write extra or maybe optional, something like that, because you don't have to do it. Um, there are some pages that I think you're going to really find helpful. Um, a lot of them have answers on the back. Some do, some don't. There's some rounding practice in here. We're going to be getting to subtracting across zeros, and I may ask you to do a few problems from any of these pages. You'll notice the answers to a lot of these pages are on the back. Um, there's even a fun crossword puzzle in math. And the very last page, guys, is an actual quiz. Yep, it's a quiz. Your actual quiz will be towards the end of this topic, and it will be digital. But I thought it would be really nice to have a paper version of it as well. So you can kind of work out your answers on this page, and then you're just going to enter them digitally on our Google form. That comes next week. All right, so this is extra optional. These purple pages are the pages that we're going to be working with and gluing into our notebook. And the yellow is a must do. Okay, so just keep that in the back of your mind. All right, guys, let's get started on our activity for today. So I'm going to put this aside. I'm going to show you my completed notebook. Um, and then we're going to do what we're going to do about today. So this is what your page is going to look like today, your vocabulary page. I wish that this, you could see the whole thing. Um, this is what it's going to look like when we're all finished with it. You'll have a nice pocket here. I made that with a post-it note. You'll have your purple word cards all cut out, and we're going to put them inside the pocket, uh, and we're going to make our notebook look as close to my notebook as you possibly can. Then today, we're also going to be gluing in those two colorful pages onto the next two pages, okay? And then that's it for today. But I just want to give you a sneak peek at what the rest of our unit looks like. So we're going to be, oops, there goes my camera. We're going to be talking about properties of addition. We're going to be making a page that looks just like that. Pretty cool, right? We're going to be talking about mental math strategies. And you might notice we're actually going to be cutting pages or pictures out of our math workbook to glue in here. They're already colored and everything. We're going to be talking about, here's like a purple page that we're going to be gluing in. Uh, your homework. This is homework for Tuesday night. You're going to be doing a sort. And then we have um, a page that we're going to be doing where we're learning about estimating sums and differences. We have some addition and subtraction. These are like some purple pages again. This is when we get to subtracting uh, and the tips and techniques that go along with that, especially when we have to regroup. We're going to be making all of these pages together. We're even going to do some subtracting across zeros, and you're going to learn what a nine bomb is. And then that's it. That's the last page. All right, so let's get started. You're going to need, in order to make this first vocabulary page, you are going to need your notebook. You're going to need your math workbook. And you are going to need some glue, some scissors, some markers, right? If you haven't gotten markers yet um, for our work in math, really you want to try because markers or colored pens, they're going to really help you out. All right, so I'm going to start fresh. I'm going to get a brand, I have this brandy new notebook here. And I'm going to open up to my very first page. Now you guys... Just open up to the, whatever the next blank page is in your math notebook. And at the top, I am going to take a marker, doesn't matter what color it is, and I'm gonna write really big, I'm gonna do a really big topic two. Topic two, and then, I think I'm going to zoom down a little bit and towards the bottom, I'm going to write the word vocabulary. It's a big word, so I want to kind of be able to fit it. And a little squeeze at the end there. Vocabulary. All right, so I have this big space in the middle. 
And in the middle, I want to make a pocket. So for this, you are going to need a post-it note. So see if you can find a post-it note. I'm gonna peel one off. And the sticky part, here's the sticky part on mine, is going to go down. I'm gonna stick that right there so you can see it kind of flaps up. And I'm gonna let it flap for a minute. Now your job is to pause the video in a minute and you are going to go and get your math workbook. I happen to have my math workbook pages for topic two already torn out. And you can do this too if you feel like carrying your math workbook back and forth to school is just too heavy in your book bag. You could just pull out or ask a parent maybe to pull out all of the topic two pages and paper clip them together and then just keep it in your folder. All right, so we are going to go to math workbook page 45. That's the purple word cards. And you're going to tear that page out. So pause this video now and go do that. Okay, once you have the workbook torn out, you're going to cut up your words. So go ahead and do that. You're cutting everything up. And I'm just to speed everything along. You should pause it. I don't want to waste too much time. So I'm going to take them all out that I already have cut. All right. So now that I have all of these vocabulary cards cut, I want to make sure that I'm actually writing on the back of them, right? So here, this one here is inverse operations. So I turn it over and on the back, it's something to write with, I am going to write the same thing, inverse operations. So inverse operations are operations that undo one another, like subtraction and addition, or multiplication and division. Now I'm gonna stick that one in, and it actually gives a nice example on the front. Okay, the next one that I see, it says counting on. Counting on is a mental math strategy that works for some people. I'm gonna write on the back, counting on. And I'm gonna stick it in. Commutative property of addition. So we're gonna be learning about three different properties of addition. The commutative property simply says that it doesn't matter the order of the add ends. I could say five plus seven equals 12, or I could say seven plus five equals 12. Who cares? Doesn't matter how I do it. So that's called the commutative property. And we stick that one in. Ooh, I love this one. A variable. You guys are going to be learning algebra soon. And in algebra, we use variables all the time, even in just basic math equations. A variable is a letter of the alphabet, like A, B, C, D, E, F, G, etc., that stands for a number. So you can use any letter of the alphabet. A letter or symbol that stands for a number is a variable. The associative property of addition is the one that uses parentheses. Um, and I like to remember that because they it's saying that it doesn't matter with adding, like if you have the parentheses around the four plus three and you do that first and then add the eight, you're still gonna get 15. Um, if you did the parentheses in with the three plus the eight, um, and you added that first, you're still going to get 15. So it's saying that the groupings can change and you're still going to get the same sum. So this is called the associative property. And I kind of remember it has two S's in it, just like it has like the sets of parentheses, two sets of parentheses. In you go. 
this is my favorite property, the identity property. And you might notice I drew a smile face because the identity property, like your identity is who you are, right? And so your face is used a lot for your identity, like especially like on a cell phone, they do the face ID, right? And your face is in the shape of a circle, like a zero. So it's saying two plus zero still equals two. Four plus zero is still gonna be four, right? So the identity property just states that the sum of any number and zero is that same number. Okay, and again, if I'm moving too fast, that's okay. Just watch and you could always go back to this later. Compensation is a mental math strategy that is used um, where you kind of add, you know, change the number, um, kind of pretend it's something else and then make up for it at the end. Um, compensation is really useful if you're dealing with money um, and if you're really good at mental math. <laughs> I tend to not be good at mental math. I'm just one of those people I'd rather write it down and just get the right answer. But if you're a mental math person, you're gonna love that strategy. Our last word is algorithm, and algorithm is such a fancy word, isn't it? But really, it just means steps, the steps to solving a problem. Algorithm. All right. And so we're going to put all of our purple word cards in, and then we need to somehow secure the sides. And the easiest way to do that would be tape, except I don't think I have any tape laying around here. I have to go in the kitchen and get it. So I'm gonna use glue. If I do a tiny bit of glue right along the sides, I can glue that side down. Um, I can hear my dog Stella barking. Let's do it right there too. And hopefully that'll stick. But if you have tape at home, you know, a little bit of tape along both edges would probably be the best solution for this. All right, our final step, we are going to write some helpful things like study these words. And there happens to be eight of them. With a little arrow, Oops, sorry. Study these eight words, and you might also want to write when we're having our vocabulary quiz. Quiz on ten twenty two. All right. One way that we can study for our vocabulary quiz is just to stay familiar with the words, right? There's eight words. You need to know what they are, the definition. You also want to be able to tell the difference between the, um, the properties of addition. And there's a Quizlet that you're going to see. You can play Quizlet anytime to study your topic two vocabulary words. All right, so your page should look something like mine. Hopefully it's a little bit colorful. Right? If you ever need to go back, refer back to any pages from my model notebook, you can do that. Um, the best way to do that is by looking at our digital uh, study guide notebook. And you'll notice that on the digital notebook, um, I have pictures, photographs of my model notebook. So you can always go back if this ever goes too fast. All right, the next two things that we're going to do are we're going to glue in those pages that were nicely printed out in color. And then that's it for today. So if you have a notebook that is eight and a half by 11, um, your pages might be able to fit without even having to trim anything, which is so convenient. But if you want them to be maybe a little bit smaller, um, you can trim them up a tad. Okay, just cut them a little bit on the sides. And that'll make it fit even better. So I have my addition and I have my subtraction. And there's a little lesson in gluing. 
You always want to go all the way around the outside first, like as close to the edge as you can get. And then I like to do a big X. And then just for some little extra, just a little extra. And then you're going to turn it over and glue it down. And remember to really press hard. Do you want all of your corners to stick? Okay, and we're going to do the same thing with our next page. I'm not even going to cut this next page. If you need to pause this video to be able to catch up with me, feel free. And I'm going to add this right on. I'm making a video. All right. And we're going to just glue that right in and you're done. It doesn't stick out too much, so that's good. All right, guys. So you should have the first three pages of your math notebook complete. What we're going to do next is look for your extension icon. Ah. Okay. Sorry guys, you know what? I think I'm gonna end the video here um, and then you can take a look at our Google Classroom to find out what to do next. Have a great day, everyone.